Hello and welcome to another tutorial video of Digital Products 669. This time for our brand new Ultimate Story Pack for Premiere Pro. First, extract all files by unzipping the zip file which you downloaded from Video Hive. Then go into the extracted folder. You will find the Premiere Pro project file inside the Premiere Pro templates folder. Just double click it to open it in Premiere Pro. All templates are placed inside the project panel and you can use them right away. If you'd like to see the preview thumbnail of a pre-made scene, just click on icon view on the bottom. This will enable the icon view. Go back to the previous folder by simply clicking on the folder icon in the top left corner. This way you can see all pre-made scenes as small icons, which makes it easier to use. So let's get started with pre-made scenes. To create a story, just open any pre-made scene sequence inside the pre-made scenes folder. Select the Instagram pre-made scene layer and all editable parameters will appear in the essential graphics panel. Each pre-made scene has a controller that allows you to set the height or duration, position, scale or text or even more. You can change any parameter to your liking. See the arrow checkbox there? This will be useful if you want to do a swipe up. Adjust the width for all shapes by simply using the slider controls. Each text has a corresponding text box on the Essential Graphics panel. Just type into the text field to change the copy. On the bottom of that panel, you will find all color controls for each element. If you want to change the footage, just double click the placeholder layer or open a placeholder sequence in the project panel. Choose your own footage from the media browser panel and then import it into the placeholder sequence. Adjust your footage to fit it to the video format. Now let's try another resolution. To use a different format other than square or for example portrait, you have to change the sequence resolution first. Go to sequence settings, then change the vertical resolution to any size. Select the Instagram pre-made scene layer and then change the height parameter to match your sequence resolution. Adjust your footage to fit it to the video format. Each pre-made scene is different, so for example, for pre-made scene 2, you need to use two different footage to create a double exposure effect. Put your main footage into the placeholder 1 sequence. Adjust your footage to make it fit to the current resolution using scale and position on the effect controls. You will need to do that for both placeholders to get a nice double exposure effect. You need to edit the mask for placeholder 2 on the effect controls. 
select Mask 1 to show the mask path which you want to edit. You can easily edit the path, the feather or opacity for the placeholder 2 mask. Each item has different specifications and features that you can customize to your liking. For example, pre-made scene 5 can display 1, 2 or 3 slides along the animation. Choose either 1, 2 or 3 slides by enabling the corresponding layer while disabling the other two. There are three placeholder sequences in the project panel. You can import your footage to each placeholder. To change the background color, select background layer and go to effect controls. Then change the fill to any color you like. For some pre-made scenes, you need to repeatedly edit the parameters for duplicated layers. For example, if the pre-made scene's format is different from the project resolution, adjust the height for each layer individually. This also applies to other parameters such as skew. Some pre-made scenes require to manually adjust individual parts to make them work with the project resolution. You need to reposition the footage for some of the elements. Here another example, if you want to change the ink color in pre-made scene 24, just go into the main placeholder sequence. Then select the placeholder layer and change the color via the effect controls. Another example is pre-made scene 27. In there, you can use one or two footage in one scene. For example, if you want to use one footage, simply hide the page transition layer and show the placeholder one layer only. Or revert the action if you'd like to show two placeholders. Now off to the titles. To use and combine the titles, you can import your video into the title sequences or import and put the titles above your videos. Select the Instagram title layer and it will show all editable parameters in the Essential Graphics panel. Each title has a controller to set the height, duration, position, scale or more. Use these parameters to adjust everything to your liking.
to import another title, simply choose one from the project panel and put it on the timeline. You need to make sure that you disable this icon over there to import the sequence as individual clips. You can use or import as many titles as you want. You can set some parameters like scale or position with the Essential Graphics panel or directly in Effect Controls. Transitions. Choose any transition and put it above your videos. But again, make sure you disable this icon to import the sequence as individual clips. Put the transitions between two clips. Slide them left and right until they snap to the center. For the leak and flare transitions, you can also combine two styles for the in and out transitions. In order to make it work right, you need to trim or remove the left part of the first transition and the right part of the second transition or the other way around. Use the same method to import the other transitions. You need to make sure that the markers are exactly between the two clips. For transition 2 up until transition 15, you can set the duration to change the speed of the transition. Like any other element, transitions contain customizable parameters in the Essential Graphics panel. Some transitions contain a so-called freeze frame feature halfway through, which means that the out animation will play after a certain time of freeze. To set the freeze frame duration, just use this slider. And this brings us to the swipe ups and headers. Let's start with putting a header and a swipe up on top of your video. And again, disable this icon to import the sequence as individual clips. Choose any swipe up and put it above your footage layer. Select the IG swipe up layer or Instagram swipe up layer to show all editable parameters. Now choose a header item and put it on your timeline.
Like with most other items, you can customize all parameters via the Essential Graphics panel. And finally, the backgrounds. Drag a background item into your sequence. You can combine a background with a title. Just put a title above the background layer and you're done. You can basically combine backgrounds with pretty much anything. Just make sure you drop it above the background layer. Thank you for watching this tutorial. For more help, just email us your question along with screenshots via help at dp669.com. Subscribe to this channel for updates and free packs. Or visit us on www.dp669.com. You'll find all links inside the description, including to this pack. Thank you and bye bye.